It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Kirkland, so I thought one better place to start things off than Spud Fish and Chips. As you can see, that is the infamous sign you can see from every direction. Now I know Spud Fish and Chips is not traditional, nor is this the original location. But to many, like me, it's the Spud Fish and Chips. It's been around forever, it's popular, and you know what, at the end of the day, it's a great place. So as we look inside, you can see newspapers and articles and things from the past that I think is really cool and it's, it's simple, but it's nostalgic and it works for them because it is a small place. And even though it's a small place, there's outdoor seating. And, you know, personally, getting your food and walking down to Juanita Beach, I think that's the way to go. However, I would not get your food to go as it's going to song out pretty fast. Anyway. So you go into order and you're looking at the menu, and before we talk about the menu, it is all cart. I mean, things can get expensive pretty fast. So you go from one one piece of fish to two pieces of fish, you've basically doubled your price, give or take. And as good as the fish is, even with the tartar and the garlic vinegar, oh, the garlic vinegar is absolutely genius. If you're not using that garlic vinegar, why do you even come here? Oh, from fish and chips, right. Okay, sorry. Anyway, as good as the fish and chips is, I honestly could recommend something like the clam strips. They can be a little chewy, occasionally sandy, but I personally think they're better. Not only do they lend themselves better to the sauces, but I've had fish where it gets over fried and the edges are way too crispy. In addition to you know, fish and clam strips, they have things like artichoke cards and mushrooms and chicken strips. So there's a nice variety. Whenever you order, it's gonna be fried. I mean, they have salads and other things, but you didn't come here for a salad, did you? And that being said, they're just a great place. I don't get it. People complain about the beer batter. What do you freaking do? If you want beer batter, go somewhere else. To maintain a beer batter all day for the amount that they're frying would be insane. That being said, let's take a look at the fish. It's crispy, it's golden, it's thin, it's not kinky. So, even though it's not beer batter, they do a good job. So whatever you think about it, Spud is going to be around for ages. And they're going to continue doing the same thing. And they're going to... And they're going to continue to be delicious. So, get on down to Spud and have some fish and chips. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed my first review. Hope you're going to like and maybe subscribe. So, if you want to check out my full review, it should be down there. Uh, until next time, thanks.